Normally when we travel, we take planes and trains. And today we're introducing a new method of travel, which is right behind me. We board here in the next 15 minutes and uh, we'll be taking a ferry to our next destination. So let's go ahead and review what it's like to take a ferry here in the United Kingdom. Today we're boarding the ferry via the foot passenger method. It's a cheaper ticket and allows for us to go on board relatively easy, but you also have the option of booking your vehicle. Uh, there's quite a long line, so make sure you get here with plenty of time and it is more expensive, but you get your car on the island to travel around. So if you're staying for a long time, it might be worth it. Now we're running out of time. We got to check in at the foot passenger terminal right here. So let's go. Boarding was relatively easy. We just went over and showed them our QR code and then they gave us this green little pass. They took our baggage, loaded it up onto a conveyor belt, we said goodbye to it. And then we just followed the footpath down the ramp uh, and then up a bunch of stairs. So something to consider if you've got a pram with you that uh, it's definitely a lot of stairs, maybe more than a one person job. And I didn't see an elevator, but that doesn't mean that there wasn't one. And as you're boarding, you can see all the cars joining on too. And uh, now that we're on here, we're just waiting for departure in about 10 minutes or so. A little tip, or at least from what we've seen thus far, is if you are traveling as a foot passenger, as long as you arrive on time, you kind of get first dibs of the whole like main level of where you could possibly sit. We're traveling in the off season, so it's not terribly busy right now. So we pretty much have the entire ship to decide where we want to sit. However, if you're a car passenger or you do want reserve seating, there is that available. It's a little extra, or there's even the premium seating that you can choose upstairs. To me, it seems a tiny bit cramped and you don't really get to choose where you're sitting because they're all numbered with little cards on there saying who's going to be sitting there. But it might be something that's handy if you're wanting your own space. So it looks like there's plenty of things to do on board. You will have plenty of seats both on the lower deck and the upper deck. Um, a lot of seatings down below have tables, so if you want to bring card games or just hang out, watch a movie, there's also TVs as well, showcasing the news and some television shows, both on the port and the starboard side of the ship. There's a movie theater where you can just catch a free movie. Additionally, in the back of the ship, there is some gambling areas, um, a little bit dated, but if that's what you wanted to do to pass the three hour journey, then for it. Additionally, there's a shop where you can grab a couple of items, but overall I think one of the coolest things that you can do is go on the observation deck to see the land disappear and then the aisle reappear a little bit later and just kind of see some unique views on the ocean. This is my first time on a large vessel, and I would say so far not too bad. Yeah, I've been on the New York ferry before, and it just seems like they shuffle you along at about 40 minutes. Well, this is three hours. It's kind of an experience. Yeah, um, and if you're worried about getting motion sick, I think you'd have to be really sensitive to motion sickness to have this affect you too bad. It just feels like the floor is just like, I don't know, just like humming a yeah. little bit, but it doesn't feel like we're moving at all, unless yeah. you look at the window. <laughs> so far, really good. 
it's yeah. been a good time. So that's pretty much gonna conclude our short little video reviewing the Steam Packet Company's ferry to the Isle of Man. And if you guys wanna catch our Isle of Man clip, make sure you hit that notification bell down below and don't forget to subscribe while you're there. It'll be coming out real soon. So with that, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.